And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Ricky Boy. And now introducing the opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz. Ready to fight? Ready. Well, he's got as big a fan base as any fighter on the roster. Here is Nate Diaz, more than 10 years with the UFC now, and maybe we'll see the Stockton slap here tonight. Don't put it past Nate Diaz. If an opportunity presents itself to connect with that open palm, you gotta think Diaz will take advantage. Oh, nice knee. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Right early in the fight here, and Nate Diaz off to a pretty good start, found a home for that left hand. I mean, it is powerful. It does not seem like Nate is throwing it hard, but he always finds his target. He's very accurate with that straight left hand, so he kind of feeds the right hand to get you moving where he wants, and then bang, he got that straight left on you that hurt so many. Hurt Conor McGregor, and he hurt the welterweight champion, Leon Edwards, in the same way. Diaz gets caught by that straight punch there. Massive head kick. That's a good series of kicks here. Fast jab lands it. And now leather being thrown on both sides. I mean, he's cutting it out the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, good knees tearing into that midsection. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh -huh. that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. And there's that jab. All right, champ, starting to see some swelling upstairs now. But he's taking way too many shots to the head. You got to move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you're going to take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Pretty good connection there, yeah. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. One tripping now from the lip. for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands get another strike, and that one was crazy. I mean, this guy is so clean with his strike. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Darcy here. Pat Darcy is tight. Struggling to create the angle here. It's going to be tough, but he's going to keep trying. Oh, wow. Oh. oh, that was deep, but he got out. That was beautiful submission defense by this guy. And now he reverses position. Wow. Mm, nice. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, that looks tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great 
submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Heel hook looks tight. Oh my goodness, he got out again. Wow, that is fantastic submission defense. Well, that was a high level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the core on that fan. Oh, I thought that arm was done. He gets out again. It was over, Doc. It was so close to being finished. But he stayed calm, slipped his arm out, and now he's safe. That's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right. Round two. All right, so there's that Nate Diaz left hand. You talked about the sneaky power. That one looks pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's throwing it hard, but he's so accurate that when he lands, he can hurt you. Nate Diaz has a really good left hand, and it's all rooted in how he hides it behind that slap right hook. Fighter lands a jab. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Lands a big elbow there. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Big head kick land. Well, confidence is high, I repeat, confidence is high, and I gotta think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's gonna think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So, for him to secure that knockout early, he has to feel good. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far, perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight 10. These guys are gonna have to dig deep, they're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Oh, man, that cut on his lip is not getting any better. The mouth wide open. Not a good look for him here. following the action. Oh, going for a leg lock. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, my goodness. He's getting it tight. He needs to work out his position. Oh, and he gets it. He beat the knee by creating distance. Once you free your knee from the hips, you have a chance. This man is so good at staying calm in the face of adversity. Oh, he's got him in the here. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, he's bleeding like crazy, champ. The stream is steady. At what point do you at least call in the doctor to look at the cut? You got to right now. I mean, right now, someone should be in here looking at how they can save this fighter from himself. Well, he just missed on another strike there. He has not been efficient with his attack here tonight. And offensively, I think his approach leaving a lot to be desired. Gotta figure out a way to conserve some energy here moving forward. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Diaz's the strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But there's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. 
what a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up, but I think that is the key. The mental is what's gonna allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're gonna have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fight. Beautiful body kick. Nate Diaz in the clinch now, underrated in these clinch situations, and I think a lot of that has to do with just his toughness, his MMA acting overall. Let's see how he handles this situation here. Thirty seconds to go in round two. He's going for the rear naked choke now. That rear naked choke looks very tight. He's got the choke arm under the neck, and he's got his head. Oh, he's out. It's work. Come on, turn it up. It's work. Diaz has got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now, making all these shots count. Side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Two rounds in the books. Hey, stop. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round on the way. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Tries the flying knee to no avail. All right, he engages in a single column tie here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And immediately gets the underhook. Look at the control of the posture as he land that knee. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. That uppercut will work. Able to block that one. Trading huge shots. Let's see if he's going to be the last man standing. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Big elbow there. Beautiful straight left hand. Diaz gets caught by yet another straight punch. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, good power with a short shot to the head in the clinch. Oh! Oh, massive knee with a body. That can't feel good. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt already. Back. is busting from that cut with each strike landed and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you get... Oh! Oh, oh my goodness! Well, that smile on his face is only going to be surpassed by the zeros on the check. A huge knockout tonight. Got to think some bonus money's coming his way. Bonus money is coming his way. When you knock somebody stiff like this, you expect a bonus check. What a phenomenal performance by this young man. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, seven seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout.
Pretty Boy! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check.